fans across the province and across the country. But here, take a look at our main event, Adonis Stevenson and Darnell Boone. The record for Boone isn't pretty. But he handed Stevenson that one loss that you see in his column. You take a look at Adonis. It's that vicious knockout of Jesus Gonzalez. Really scary moment, just scary power in that left hand. And another Gonzalez, Noe Gonzalez. Didn't last too much longer. Adonis Stevenson getting him out of there right away in a fight that some people thought might give him a little bit of difficulty. And then most recently, the fight we aired here on Wealth TV against Donovan George in a fight that was a lot about the courage that Don George had, but also about the growth that Stevenson enjoyed in that fight. Looking like a much more complete fighter. But his development comes full circle here tonight, trying to avenge that lone loss on his record and erase those demons that have been haunting him of that knockout in 2010. It was one of the uh, classic fights we've had on Well TV. Again, uh, again, yeah, we got a Darnell lot of stuff coming up. But we'll, we'll, we'll get into that during the fight as Darnell Boone now is making his way into the ring for our main event. Signature mask of Darnell Boone. Can't see his face as he come to the ring. And most people haven't seen his fight with Adonis Stevenson either. He said he's the only one who has the tape. But we can tell you it was one quick counter overhand right that ended the night conclusively in the second round. Cross people in the boxing inside that that tape and that fight is one of the great myths in the sport. So I know. Uh, you're a big fight collector, I'm a big fight collector, and we called each other up looking for it, and neither of us had it. Yeah, it's like uh, trying to find tape of Will Chamberlain's 100-point game. Yeah, you're not going to find that. A career-high payday for Darnell Boone. And getting the opportunity to be in a main event of a significant card, it was something that he was really thankful of, getting this opportunity here tonight in Montreal. And uh, that is... First real training camp in years. So uh, he's one of these guys, he takes fights on a week, 10 days, two weeks notice, and always, for the Adonis most part, Stevenson gives the undefeated contender all he can and more. Now the uh, usual Bell Center theatrics, when one of their own comes in on the main event. I don't know how much more theatrical you can get than that mask.
comes Adonis Stevenson, the IBF super, number one ranked super middleweight. The IBF number one super middleweight in the world, moving up in weight. Taking him, he's fought at over the limit before, but this is a prelude to a bigger jump off. And one that he absolutely didn't have to take. He didn't have to take this fight. It was something he wanted. We've talked about it all night long. He said that once he is in that championship picture, if he has a championship belt, he can't go back and erase this. He won't have time. Now he does. So he's going to try and erase that, and erase that period in his life where he wasn't focused, where he wasn't training, where he left Yvonne Michelle. He's going to try and put that to bed here tonight. Donna Stevenson donning the Kronk colors, trained by the nephew of the late great Emmanuel Stewart, the nephew, right? Javon Hill, let's go up to Chris Gauthier. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the three judges appointed at ringside to score this light heavyweight contest, a cold presentation of Gauthier Romicelle, Misogeux and Videotron, Sylvain Leblanc, Claude Paquette, Et Benoit Roussel, l'arbitre du combat, your referee in charge, Michael Griffin. Du centre belge, en direct à Bell et à Indigo, voici le combat principal de ce gala, 10 rounds de boxe chez les Milours. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for action? Live from Bell Center on Wealth TV, here is tonight's main event, 10 rounds of action in the light heavyweight division. D'abord, dans le coin bleu, portant la culotte noire, ornée de rouge et d'argent, et faisant 171,8 livres. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red and silver trim, he tipped the scale at 171,8 pounds. En 42 combats, il a 19 victoires, 8 par KO, 3 verdicts nuls. His professional record consists of 19 victories, 8 coming by way of knockout, and 3 draws in 42 bouts. Funny out of Youngstown, Ohio, USA, introducing Darnell Diesel Moon. Son adversaire dans le coin rouge porte la culotte or, ornée de rouge et de bleu et pèse 170.8. Across the ring, his opponent fights out of the red corner, wears gold with red and blue trim. He weighed in at 170.8 pounds. En fin combat, il a 19 victoires, 16 par KO. His professional record shows 19 victories, 16, coming by way of knockout in 20 bouts. L'aspirant numéro 1 de la IBF et aspirant obligatoire au titre mondial des super moyens de la IBF. Currently ranked number one by the IBF, he is the mandatory contender for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, De Longueuil, Adonis Superman Stevenson. Once again, referee in charge, Michael Griffin. All right, you men, receive my instructions in the dressing room. You gotta obey my commands. I want you to protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, gentlemen. You're boxing at the bell. Good luck. Main event of the evening. 35-year-old Adonis Stevenson. 33-year-old Darnell Boone. Certainly in ring years, Boone a lot older than Adonis Stevenson, despite what the age category there shows. And really, the career of Boone has been a whole lot of what ifs. What if he had those opportunities early in his career? What if he made more money? What if he had time to prepare? He has all that here tonight. Let's find out. I asked him if uh, this is his championship fight. He said, no, it's just another fight to him. So more than just another fight for Adonis Stevenson. The well, pressure is most certainly on Adonis in this fight. A lot of pressure.
maybe somewhere uh, around the world. Uh, Carl Frosch, Mikkel Kessler, even Chad Dawson tuning in. We'll see how Stevenson handles Boone this time, whether he has, in fact, grown as a fighter since 2010. Boone's camp seems to think, but no, he's the same guy. He has the same habits. Sugar Hill, if you talk to him, says he's a completely different fighter. They've corrected his balance issues. He's a two-handed fighter now. One, two from Stevenson, and Boone sticks his tongue up at him. Boone tries to jump in with the right hand, and a hard shot on the break. Referee Michael Griffin uh, says no more of that. Seemed to rattle Boone a little bit. Straight left from Stevenson. Well, Stevenson didn't hide what he wants in this fight. He said he needs a knockout. They both missed shots. Boone dangerously threw out a left hand that left himself open for a bit. Straight left from Stevenson. Body shots. Boone trying to fight off. Boone recently fought Sergei Kovalev, another big puncher at 175, and ran to some trouble going after him early. There's a good punch from Stevenson. Boone tries to fight out of the corner. You gonna see this from Boone. He's gonna pick his spots. He's gonna move and try to pick his spots. Good right to the body from Stevenson. Another right to the body. Working the body, uppercuts. Here comes Stevenson, opening up in the corner. Boone trying to fight back. Left from Stevenson. Not hurting Boone. Well, Boone certainly stood up to that flurry, but he can't be standing in the corner, particularly trying to fight a, win a fight on the road. Just thinking that. Straight left by Stevenson, left on the ropes. Again, opening up. Hard body shot. <laughs> Casey, what we've been saying that Stevenson really wants this knockout, and Javon is Sugar Hill saying, just be patient, he'll come. They're trying to calm him down a little bit in the corner. There was that shot off the break. And it might have done some significant damage to Boone because he stayed in the corner, in one of the corners, for pretty much the remainder of the round. sense looking for that one big counter and overall you get a sense of kind of impending danger in this fight don't you mark they're both looking for that knockout and we'll see if it comes round two scheduled for 10 our main event jab from darnell boone to start the round off now boone uh, not moving as much to start round two straight left from Adonis. And he stayed loyal to the Kronk camp even after the passing of Emmanuel Stewart. He stayed on with Sugar Hill as his trainer. Just the, the two uh, fight weeks have been around him. I think they have a good, re good report going as Boone tries to fight out of the corner again. We're talking about playground legends earlier on. Straight left hand from Stevenson rocks the head back of Boone. And it's the power in that left hand that's reaching almost mythical status in the gyms in Detroit. No names were given, but apparently he's been hurting heavyweights and cruiserweights. Adonis said he's knocked two of them out. I don't think his talent's ever been questioned. And at 35, he may be just hitting his peak right now. And... Stevenson misses a left hook and almost winds up on the lap of our French broadcasters. <laughs> 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 
Stevenson again back in Boone. A hard right to the body. Stevenson fires back with a right. Boone right now is still waiting until Stevenson is done. And then trying to fire back. There he does some work to keep him off of him. 253 rounds, as we saw in the career of Boone, is just 75 for Stevenson. Another body shot. As Corey mentioned, the blood coming out of the mouth off the, uh, early. Good right to the top of the head, and Boone on Queer Street. He eats a big left, and Stevenson is opening up. But that is Stevenson trying to even the score with Darnell Boone. Boone should try to start throwing, and he does. Right and a left from Boone. Boone's still catching a lot of these and throwing some really hard stuff back. Whatever he's hard, throwing still isn't deterring him. Hard body shots from Stevenson. Stevenson working on the inside. Boone gets in a left. But Stevenson tries to back Boone in the corner. Hard body shot again. Boone trying to land a counter right. Misses with that one. Round two in the book, scheduled for 10. Boone, Sammy Calderon in the corner with him, Andy Belke, one of his new trainers. This is the first pro fighter he's ever worked with. Not necessarily the best start for his fighter as we're seeing here in this round, but some better moments for Boone toward the end. I like what Stevenson's doing early with the body work. So whatever, whatever movement that Boone is showing here in the first couple rounds, the body work will slow that down if we go into six, seven, eight. Too easy round to score. Madonna Stevenson in the gold. Boone in the uh, black, white, red, the dress, so to speak. Mark Abrams ringside with Corey Erdman here at the Bell Center in Montreal, live on Welt TV. Sugar Hill might not be happy with some of the wasted punches on Stevenson's part, but I'll tell you one thing it is doing when he's crowding Boone and going to the body is not letting Boone get any leverage and uncork one of those crazy knockout shots. Boone reaches with the right. The one thing his corner told him specifically not to do. It's a good way to get countered and hurt. Again, he's coming in with some confidence that he could beat this guy. Well, he definitely has to have the confidence from the first fight. He doesn't think it was a fluke. Straight left from Stevenson. Boone now going back. There were times in Boone's career when he was training himself, and apparently his friends were just picking fights for him, and he would accept them. Now he has a real training camp and a real management team at Lights Out I, Management. I don't want friends like that. No. <laughs> Hard shot to the body from Stevenson. And they weren't picking easy fights for him either. Another right to the body. That right just stayed on his flank. It's almost like he got dug in there. Stevenson lands a body shot. Good combination from Boone. 
Boone has been in with all, everybody. Kovalev twice. Marco Parabon is a hot prospect out of Mexico. Brandon Gonzalez, Edwin Rodriguez, Eris Landy Lara, Craig McEwen. These guys are all undefeated at the time. Brian Vera, who's ranked number one in the world right now. John Pascal. John Pascal. Anthony Thompson. He's got wins over some guys with great records. End of round three, schedule for 10. A good right from Boone there. Boone in the center of the ring has enough upper body movement and is awkward enough to keep Stevenson thinking. If he can stay in there, he might be able to make this a difficult night. And, and again, uh, with the exception of the George fight, Stevenson really has, a, and Stevenson's doing a, something similar tonight that he did in the, in the George fight. He working the body early. So uh, George ran out of steam late. He's doing this again tonight. And that's, you know, a, one way to say, you know, if you, ha if you haven't been going rounds, slow, slow the other guy down. Great night of fights here at the Bell Center, Montreal. Great fight town. Mark Abrams and Corey Erdman ringside on Wealth TV. Adonis Stevenson trying to avenge his one pro blemish in the gold. Darnell Boone in the dress. Boone coming forward. He lands a right hand. Darnell. says, come on. I think the fact that Stevenson wants this knockout, this revenge so badly is... Might be working against him right, a Right, it's forcing him into some of these rough patches. And his promoter, Yvonne Michelle, who already has a big date lined up for him, probably holding his breath every time he gets hit. Straight left from Stevenson. Right to the body. Counter left from Boone. In these spurts when he's pushing Boone against the ropes, you can see some of the, the changes in the growth in Adonis. He's always known that he's had power and he's relied on it. Now he's learning to use the, the physicality that has brought about that power. He did it against George. And in his good moments here, there have been a bunch of them. Against Boone, he's doing it again. Another straight left from Stevenson. Stevenson holding his uh, jab, his lead right hand very low. So Stevenson sneaks in a right hand there. But hard body shots, but here comes Boone again. I think Boone is actually just trying to maybe outlast Stevenson. Maybe get this fight late. Body shots from Stevenson. Boone sneaks in another right. We saw Don George try to do the same thing, and ultimately it took his biggest weapon away, that right hand. He just couldn't get it going after eating all those body shots. Hard shot, Stevenson said. Stevenson lands a hard shot, and Boone says no. Straight left from Stevenson. Now he's got Boone in the corner. As they go toe-to-toe -to -toe here at the Bell Center. Tell you what, Boone is making Stevenson work and earn this. He already earned one title shot by winning an eliminator. Boone's going to make him earn the uh, Chad Dawson fight. Stevenson 
decent round, but there are still these moments that make you believe that Boone can do it all over again tonight. Stevenson has to be careful pulling out of these exchanges on the inside and backing up with his hands down. And there is promoter Yvonne Michel. Probably the most, uh, I don't want to use the term nervous, but he's a uh, great interest in this fight. And every time Boone does something like that, The thoughts of Chad Dawson, you see their legs got tangled up, which allowed Boone to keep Stevenson in range. And that's been the pattern for the majority of this fight. It's been Boone laying on the ropes, looking for a counter, and then kind of ambushing out of the corner. You're right, it will only take one shot to erase June 8th against Chad Dawson entirely. And Canadian broadcast uh, team gave Darnell Boone round four. Boone, uh, Stevenson did a lot of work early in the round, but I don't think uh, Darnell's work really concerned about a decision either. The Stevenson comes out flicking the jab in round five. But Boone isn't fighting like someone who is necessarily concerned with a decision. Oh, Boone landed a right, Stevenson landed a left. Boone kept his balance there. That was very nearly a knockdown. He jumped in with that shot that actually caused him to be wide open. Straight left again from Stevenson. Takes a major league chin to take that one and be on your feet. Shoot it. Shoot it. Boone jumps in again. That was uh, perfectly placed. Straight left again. Rocks Boone's head back. Stevenson now has Boone in the corner. Boone covering up. Stevenson trying to give himself a little more space here. As he was getting too close, Boone was kind of pushing him off and then flurrying now. Boone jumps in with a right hand. One, two from Stevenson. He's landed two shots in this round that would have put most super middleweights, light heavyweights, whatever, away. And the left, and Boone tries to fire off a right again. Straight left from Stevenson. Boone ducking under. Oh, oh a straight left. Uh, that was more of a foot tag, but there was a little left from Stevenson in there. Hard left around the guard, right to the bodies. We had round five scheduled for 10. Big round for Adonis Stevenson. He did what Sugar Hill told him and tried to wrap some of those shots around the guard, not throw everything down the pipe. But it was two left hands straight down the middle in the center of the ring that did the most damage. There's a right, there's a one of the big lefts. I think this was the, there we go, that was the one that drove Boone all the way back. Your heads there that caused a stumble on Boone's behalf. Round six, we enter.
enter the second half of the fight here at the Bell Center. Straight left from Stevenson to start round six. Mark Abrams ringside with Corey Erdman, Wealth TV. Boone tries to put together a combination. One thing that Stevenson could do, it might let him land that left a little bit more often, just kind of switch up the speed of that jab. He's throwing it at the same speed all the time, and Boone's picking it off with his lead hand. Straight left from Stevenson again. He has Boone on the ropes right above us here at the Bell Center. Body shot, and Boone fires off again. That's Boone's M.O. is to fire off after taking about four or five. And a body shot, and down goes Boone. Directly in front of us. We wondered when those might accumulate and pile up. We may be seeing the beginnings of that. Referee Michael Griffin deems Boone is okay. Stevenson landing some shots, an uppercut from Stevenson, but Boone oh, gets in one. Boone is at the swing hard in case I hit something stage now. He's been trying to do that all night. A lot of swelling now underneath the right eye. Can he land that something big before this there, punishment piles up? And there may be a cut over the left eye as well, and Stevenson's starting to wail away. Boone is throwing just enough, but now he's taking shots and punishment in the corner. Adonis Stevenson trying to close the show. Mike Griffin's taking a hard look at this. Referee Michael Griffin a little closer now. Boone better throw something back shortly. And Stevenson just throwing. Not all of it's letting that one get in that straight left. Michael Griffin is inching. Hard uppercut. Now here's left. Down goes Boone. And I don't think he's getting up. And this fight is over. Revenge. Adonis Stevenson. It took three years, but Adonis Stevenson just erased what's haunted him for his entire career. At the same time, you have to feel for Darnell Boone getting his one big shot, the biggest fight of his life. And it ended the same way it did for Stevenson in 2010. Darnell Boone still down. That was a terrific shot that ended it. Just got stood up with that uppercut and then a straight left hand completely unprotected. Good to see Boone up to his feet. I think that's the way Adonis Stevenson wanted it. An emphatic knockout, gets revenge, and I guess now he'll start talking about Chad Dawson. And of course, Dawson coming off a knockout loss at the hands of Andre Ward. And we diving in there with a guy who could punch the way Stevenson can. It's a risky proposition for him. Just as it was for Stevenson here tonight, but did exactly what he wanted to do. Here we take a look at that knockout. And that uppercut just stood Boone straight up in an unprotected left hand. That was perfect. Another look at the shot. Oh. Boone was out on his feet already. That's, that's the way you want to end things. There's the uppercut. 
and he almost laid it up like uh, he was on a tee. The silver lining for Boone. At least he got paid well for this. And he made Stevenson work for it as conclusively as this one ended. Let's go up the ring out to Chris Gautier. Great night of boxing. See the war scars of Darnell Boone. Always gives a great honest effort, but there's the star of the show tonight. Adonis Stevenson and uh, his stable mate, the Balfour Four, uh, later Alvarez. Two guys that are going to have opportunities to be that next Canadian world champion. Pascal doesn't have a belt right now. Butte doesn't have a belt. They're going to fight each other. Just a great night of boxing again on Well TV. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, don't forget. Secret Meat Business. Two episodes. Adrian, the Italian uh, episode at 11 a.m. Eastern, a staple in Italian cooking. Adrian shows us the versatility of cooking with rabbit, served up succulent, sweet braised rabbit ragu. Then at 11.30, it's Dutch, taking a leaf out of his mother-in-law's recipe book. Adrian makes a Dutch recipe for delicious and descendant glazed pork. Good stuff. I'm hungry. After this, we're getting something to eat. Are, are we? <laughs> Is there anything left of catering? Duck, duck and Marcella. <laughs> Don't forget, thir Thursday, got the uh, replay of Sturm Solomon and Baloo Chalemba. Next Saturday afternoon, for my partner, Corey Erdman, I'm Mark Adams. We'll see you soon on Wealth TV. Public press conference to be held right here at Bell Center this Tuesday at 12:30. Open the public, I remind you, and the tickets go on sale next Wednesday morning at eventcoach.ca. Je vous remercie beaucoup et puis je vous ai donné ce que je vous ai donné pour le show.